Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are watching me for the first time, my name is Sahil Agarwal. I've just completed my B.Tech in Computer Science from IIT Gandhinagar. I'm also going to join DE Shaw as a software developer in a month. In this video, I'll be telling you all the DSA topics that you should be covering in order to master DSA. Many a times it happens with us that we are only aware about some famous data structures like graphs, binary trees or dynamic programming or stacks and queues and some famous algorithms like BFS, DFS or recursion. But in the midst of these, we tend to ignore some DSA topics which later haunts us by popping up during the coding rounds and interviews. And then when we are facing those problems, we tend to think that how is this question going to be solved? And after the coding round and the interview ends, we realize that this question was from a tri data structure which I did not study. Recently, one of my friends gave a coding round of Uber and the first question they asked was based on tri data structure. If one knew tries, it was a very basic question. But if one did not know what a tri data structure is, it was nearly impossible to solve that question. Hence, it becomes very important for you to know all the DSA topics that should be covered in order to master DSA. If you find this video helpful, do subscribe to the channel, like this video and share it with all your friends who are learning DSA or want to learn DSA. And you can comment down any queries, any suggestions which you may have for me. I will definitely try to reply to you. First and foremost, you should have knowledge of a programming language. I would suggest either go for C++ or Java because there are ample resources available for learning DSA in these languages. When you are starting to learn a programming language, focus on the syntax of that language, learn about data types, variables, if else statements, different kinds of loops such as for loops, while loops and also learn about functions. If you are going with C++, learn about STL which is the standard template libraries and if you are going for Java as your primary language, learn about Java collections. These will help you a lot in the long run when you are studying about data structures and algorithms. Solve some basic problems so that you get used to these uh, programming languages so that you get an idea of how to write code, how the syntax works. Obviously, if you're choosing to study DSA, you should possess some level of logic building and you should have some level of mathematical problem solving ability, which I guess every Indian student has given that they have passed their 10th standard. Okay, so that is not a problem. Before jumping into DSA, I would recommend you guys to study about time complexity. This is by far the most fundamental thing which everyone needs to understand before the deep dive into data structures and algorithms. Now after you have studied about time complexity, you can now start DSA. So I have divided data structures and algorithms into three sections. First is the basic, second one is the intermediate and third one is the advanced. So we will go through all the topics which can be put into each of the basket, basics, intermediate and advanced. So given that you have the knowledge of time complexity, you should learn the first and foremost data structure, which is arrays. So play with arrays, learn what are arrays. Uh, you can also learn about searching techniques on arrays like linear search then you should also learn about various sorting techniques over arrays like insertion sort selection sort bubble sort merge sort and quick sort and note down their time complexities these sorting techniques are very important to understand because sorting over arrays is the most fundamental operation which you can do over arrays. So this is very important to understand how sorting works and what are the time complexities of different sorting algorithms. So sorry to interrupt you guys, but apart from DSA, some core CAC subjects are also very important when it comes to coding interviews. One such subject is object oriented programming, which is very, very important. And many questions are asked in the coding interviews. That is why I have come up with my own OOPS course in the language C++. The link is in the description. You can check it out. Already 31 students have enrolled in the course and are enjoying the content. You can also be the next one if you want to learn every OOP concept in detail and strengthen your OOPs knowledge. Go check out the link in the description and do enroll if you like the content. Let's get back to the video. Given that you have solved basic and intermediate level of questions related to arrays, then you should be learning another searching technique over arrays which is called the binary search. And it is very beneficial when it comes to searching because it is quite efficient when it comes to searching a particular element in the array. Next, you should move on to another data structure, which is strings. Strings is again a very basic data structure and you should be comfortable with. So play with strings, learn how to reverse a string, learn how to concatenate strings and solve a lot of questions to get used to it. It will help you a lot by learning the other data structures because strings is something or arrays is something which is a very fundamental part. It comes in every DSA problem in one way or the other. Also, when you're studying arrays, I forgot to mention that learn about 1D arrays and 2D arrays also. I have prepared a doc where I've listed down all 
all those DSA topics and the link to the resources from where you can learn. So I will share the doc in the description. You can check that out and you can look at the resources. And I hope it will help you. Till here, whatever you have seen is considered as the basics of DSA. Now you should move on to the intermediate section of DSA. So starting the intermediate section by studying about a new data structure called as linked lists. Linked lists and arrays have some similarities, have some differences. So learn about those similarities and differences. Solve a lot of questions related to linked lists. How data is stored in a linked list? How can we traverse a linked list? How can we reverse a linked list? It is a really easy topic. So mostly you'll be comfortable with it. Next, you should move on to a famous algorithm which is recursion and most of the students find recursion very difficult to understand so I would advise you to spend a lot of time over recursion understand the core concept behind it and it would be great if you could actually you know understand the intuition behind how recursion works you will be in love with recursion if you understand it well you will cry upon recursion if you don't next you should be focusing upon two data structures which are called stacks and queues and these are data structures where you can store data so how can you store data in both of these data structures what is the difference between these two data structures and what kind of operations are done over these data structures these are some important points which you need to learn when you are studying stacks and queues now i'm including those topics which people generally miss so i'm not keeping these topics for the last because if i keep these topics for the last people will tend to not study these topics i don't want this so i'm including these topics in between actually these are very important topics after you complete stacks and queues you should study about hash maps what is hashing then you should focus upon another data structure which is called heaps learn about priority queues then you should also move on to studying about some greedy algorithms like two pointer techniques sliding window techniques and bit manipulation these topics are very very important and you don't want to miss out on these now it's time for you to move on to the advanced section of data structures and algorithms which is quite huge and obviously it is the most difficult part but it is the most fun part as well so the first and foremost data structure which comes into this advanced section is trees so you should understand how a data can be stored in the form of trees uh, understand that concept well then you should also study about binary trees and binary search trees i would advise you to solve a lot of questions over trees binary trees and binary search trees because this is one of the most famous topic when it comes to coding tests and interviews so you want to practice more and more number of questions on these topics next we move on to another huge data structure which is called graphs so you should learn how data is stored in a graphs how can we search a particular data in a graph and understand the basic searching techniques in graphs like breadth first search and depth first search understand how can we do topological sorting in graphs so these are some of the famous questions or algorithms which you should know how it can be done in graphs okay so that is very important and mostly people find graphs a very complex topic but trust me if you know recursion well you will be able to understand graphs very easily now it's time to study the most talked about the most scary the most difficult and by far the most important dsa topic which is none other than dynamic programming more than 99 percent of the students are scared of db because they don't understand it it is the most difficult topic to understand but you are my viewer you should not be scared of db instead you should understand the core concept of db understand how db works how is it solved solve a lot of questions on db and understand the core idea behind where dp works and how we can apply dp so learn about 1d dp 2d dp 3d dp and solve a hell lot of questions to understand the core concept behind dynamic programming next many people tend to ignore the try data structure but don't ignore that trust me it is a very very easy data structure to learn it will just take one day for you to learn about tries and you can solve four to five questions related to tries i have put down the links of the resources in the doc you can check that out lastly you can study about backtracking so backtracking is something which is similar to recursion so if you are comfortable with recursion backtracking won't be a disturbing factor for you so yes these were all the dsa topics i have listed down everything which you should cover uh, from the basics to advanced and in whichever order i have told i would advise you to follow that order and you will be good to go i hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned something new from this i hope i have not missed out on any topic if i have missed out on any topic you can comment down in the section and tell me what was that topic i will add that topic and the resource link of that particular topic in the doc so yeah that's all for this video i will meet you in the next one till then keep learning keep growing and stay healthy